flip you had to win. It's You are looking at one of the best heavyweights in UFC history. The man who holds the record still for the most consecutive heavyweight title defenses, the Cleveland-based firefighter Stipe Miocic back from Monty. Going into our fight at UFC 226, he was universally considered the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. And that was rightfully deserved by beating Francis Ngannou, by beating Alistair Overeem, by beating Fabricio Verdun. When you beat guys like that, those honors are cast upon you and you have deserved them. Steve A. Miocic is one of the greatest fighters the heavyweight division has ever seen. Steve A. Miocic steps inside the octagon. He's ready to fight. yourself moment did you ever think you would hear this song and Fedor Emelianenko making the walk to the octagon it finally happens to me I mean everything about this man is iconic from the song the walk the facial expressions he's so stoic well, you know that Fedor Emelianenko is all business when he steps inside the octagon his list of opponents the guys that he has beaten over the course of his career is unmatched by many that is why still today Fedor is considered one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And perhaps most special is to hear guys like you, right, his contemporaries, talk about Fedor Emelianenko's greatness, chasing further accolades here in the Octagon tonight. The last emperor, Fedor Emelianenko ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Dupe Miocic. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Avon. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, we're underway here at heavyweight. Fedor Emelianenko taking on Stipe Miocic. Stipe wanted this matchup to prove to the world without a shadow of a doubt that he, and not Fedor, is the greatest heavyweight of all time. You know, when people start to say stuff like, you're the greatest UFC heavyweight of all time, that annoys a guy like Stipe Miocic who feels like he should sit atop the crown unchallenged. But there is a guy out there that always held some of that space. And that's Fedor Emelianenko. Miocic wants to go out there, put the Emelianenko chapter behind him, and stand atop the throne by himself. All right, early action here in the heavyweight division, and there's Steve Miocic finding a home for that pull right hand early. He does it really well. He baits you into throwing something, and the moment you throw, he slips and he lets the right hand fly. He did it constantly against Francis Ngannou in the first fight. It has become one of his better strikes throughout his UFC career. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully, really starting to get his range and get into a good flow on the feet as the ball goes down. Landed the overhead. Pedro Emelianenko going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh, double leg takedown. Pedro Emelianenko's got his hand looking for a guillotine chip. That guillotine is tight. Looks like he might get the finish. 
this here. This has to be it, John. It's got to be it. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Go to your back. Give up the mount. But live to fight another day. Big ground and pound. All right, so Emilian goes back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, the ground and pound is there. They get a good awareness by the defensive fighter. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Miacic. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Under a minute to go. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Emilianenko. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce choke is tight. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. With conviction to the body. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by the heavyweight Miacic. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Beautiful boxing there from Stipe Miocic, former UFC heavyweight champion. Marcus Marinelli really feels like he has taken his striking to the next level. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye. Oh, a perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, nice right hand. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Well, that strike right there, that pull right hand, as you call it, has really become a trademark of Stipe Miocic on the feet. Yeah, you got to be very careful how you approach Stipe because he sets you up. He will bait a jab when you return. He pulls, and he hits you with the right hand. And right now, his opponent is not picking up on it. Stipe can put you to sleep if you aren't careful in the way that you approach him. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. So a much different ball. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice body shot. His jab is good, there it is. 90 seconds to go now. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Get the ball here. He's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Well, that swelling, folks, is not from sodium. That is from a serious ground and pound attack from his opponent. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. Huge connection there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. 
What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Boom! Big jab. Final seconds here. Two rounds in the books. And there is the horn. Big five minutes for him there. Great round from Miacic. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. We now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 37 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Stipe Miocic. All right, the future UFC Hall of Famer Stipe Miocic getting his hand raised here tonight, still proving on this night, as he has done many times prior, that he's one of the best heavyweights in the world. He's one of the best heavyweights in the world. He's one of the best heavyweights of all time. He has a complete skill set, great wrestling, great striking, and great durability and toughness, which allows him to stand in there with some of the most dangerous men on the entire planet. 